With the release of OJS 3.3, there are a number of new features and improvements users can look forward to seeing. This video will highlight a handful of these features and improvements and how to use them. Many of the features highlighted in this video can also be found in OMP and OPS. This video is intended for anyone that may be interested in updating their journal or using this version of OJS for the first time. One of the first features you'll notice in OJS 3.3 is the Simplified Dashboard Navigation Menu. In OJS 3.3, only users and roles that have access to the Settings menu, which include journal managers and editors, will see the left-hand navigation menu. There are also additional menu links for issues, announcements, and payments, and some of the menu links have moved. While users such as authors and reviewers will only have access to their submission, as with previous versions of OJS. Journal managers and editors will also find new filters in the Active and Archive Submission tabs. With these new filters, you can now filter for assigned issues and assigned editors, although only managers can filter by assigned editors. To use these filters, you will want to go to your Active or Archive tabs and click Filter. For the editor filter, type the editor's first name, last name, or full name, followed by enter. The dashboard should now show you the results from manuscripts assigned to this editor. This filter can also be used to filter by username, email, affiliation, ORCID ID, as well as multiple editors at the same time. For the filter by issue, you will want to use the full issue identification or title. Again, you will be able to filter from multiple issues at the same time. One of the features authors can look forward to is the ability to upload multiple files at once, as well as drag and drop files. During the submission process, authors can select multiple files from their file browser or drag and drop their files. Instead of having to identify all the file types after each upload, authors can now identify these once all the files have been uploaded from a single menu panel. A new editorial action allows editors to reverse the decline decision in the submission and review stage. After a decline decision has been reverted, the submission is restored to its previous stage in round review if this was active. To reverse the decline decision, go to the manuscript you initially declined. On the right menu, click Change Decision. You will then see buttons for Request Revision, Accept Submission, or Revert Decline. After you click Revert Decline, you will see a pop-up box confirming your decision. This will revert the submission to its previous state. In previous versions of OJS, the review types referred to double blind, blind, and open. In OJS 3.3, these have been changed to anonymous reviewer, anonymous author, anonymous reviewer, disclosed author, and open. This has been done in part to remove the problematic or ableist language previously present in OJS, while providing the added benefit of having more descriptive terms. In OJS 3.3, journal managers and editors will have the ability to disable either all submissions to their journal or certain sections. Disabling sections will not affect previously published content, but rather restricts authors from being able to submit into these particular sections. To disable all submissions from your journal, you will need to go to Workflow under Settings, followed by Submission and Disable Submissions. Click the option for Disable Submissions. This may be used for journals who are only using OJS for their archive content. To disable submissions for certain sections, you will need to go to Journals, under Settings, click Sections, and click the checkboxes for all the sections you want to disable. This may be useful 
for special sections or legacy sections you've created to upload back issue content. There are also a number of features that have been added around user management and communication. This includes the ability to notify users within a specific role and the ability to export users in the CSV format. OJS 3.3 has a much requested feature to notify or send a message to all users in a role. As well as an export tool that allows you to export a CSV file of your users. This can be used to import users into a third party mailing service. To use the notify feature, go to users and roles under settings, followed by notify. Select the user groups you are sending your email to and scroll down to the bottom and enter your message. Please note this feature is disabled by default and administrators will need to enable it for each journal, press, or server. To export your users, you'll want to go to Users under Statistics and click Export. Select the user groups you want to export into Excel and or CSV format. This may be useful for exporting your user list to a third-party mailing tool. OJS 3.3 features a number of improvements to the default theme based on feedback from our 2019 Accessibility Audit. Some improvements to your front end include enhancing color contrast for clickable links and adding titles for custom blocks. The changes to the default theme compliance would help meet local accessibility legislation. A voluntary product accessibility template will be available for OJS in the coming weeks. The features and improvements highlighted in this video are only a few that you'll find in OJS. Please see the video descriptions for links to the OJS demo to try these features as well as our learning OJS guide. To download or update your journal to OJS 3.3, please visit the PKP website for more information.